whether you want to enhance the expression, grab the attention or create a Barbie doll. In this video, we're going to learn how to make eyes bigger in Photoshop in the most natural and the quickest way possible. So without any further ado, let's get started. So here we are in Photoshop with the image of a beautiful model submitted by Jim Smith from James4 Photography. If you want to check more of his work, check it out right here. So let's jump straight in. So if you want to make the eyes a little bigger, you need to make a selection first. To make a selection, you can use the lasso tool or also the polygon tool will work. Now, let's create a selection around the eye. Also make sure you also select the eyelashes. So let's make a rough selection. There you go. You don't have to be perfect around the eye. Okay, okay. We can always adjust it. Press and hold Alt or Option if you're using a Mac and delete the areas that you don't want. Or press and hold Shift and add the areas that you want. Okay, those are the two keys. Alt or Option and Shift. Shift to add, Alt and Option to minus, to subtract from the selection. So we don't want these areas. We don't want these areas. We don't want these areas. We don't want these areas either. So we are pretty much done. Now what we have to do, we need to smoothen the selection. Instead of adding feather beforehand, let's add feather afterwards so that we can see which areas are being selected. To do that, press Q. This gets you into quick mask mode and then you go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur. Now, the normal color areas are the areas that are selected, the red areas are the areas that are not selected. So. Increase the blur so much so that the selection is smooth. At the same time, the selection doesn't go into the eyelashes or any part of the eye. Right? So I think 12 is fine. Maybe 14. Let's look at 14. 14 is good. Click OK. Press Q again. This returns you into the selection. Now press Ctrl J. This creates a separate layer for just the eye. Now Ctrl T. Now here comes the crucial part. Before you make the eyes bigger, make sure you adjust the anchor point properly. Take the anchor point to the center of the eye. So this is the eye and this is the center of the eye. Not the eyeball, the center of the eye. Okay, place it here and then press and hold Shift and Alt. Okay, or Shift or Option if you're using a Mac and then make it bigger. Now, while you are making it bigger, just look, let's look at the numbers. Let's look at the width and the height. Make sure you keep the percentages in mind. So let's make it a little bigger and this looks good to me. So the percentage is 108.76. Just keep that in mind, please. Okay. Once you're ready with that, hit enter. Now let's move on to the other eye. So let's select the background layer again and let's do the same thing. Now, this is going to be a little sticky because there is a little bit of hair here, but we're going to fix it later. Okay, so let's make a rough selection around the eye. Don't select the eyelashes. There you go. We are going to subtract areas that we don't want. You might want to add a little bit of areas here and there. There you go. Now, time to, let's subtract this, time to smoothen it. Q, go to filter, blur. Gaussian blur. The value 14 is good. Click OK. And now press Q again. Control J. This creates a layer for the left eye. Okay. Control T. Take the anchor point to the center of the eye. Press and hold Shift and Alt. And let's make it a little bigger. Now, I asked you to remember the values. What were the values? 108 point something, right? 108.76 maybe. So increase the value, increase the size and watch the values. It should be, it must be around 108 where you should stop. Okay. Once you're done, hit enter and you can always adjust the position of the eye. There you go. Hit enter. Now, as you can see, the corners are a little unrealistic. We might have to bring it back. So let's create a mask and take the brush, make sure black is the foreground color and start painting with a flow which is fairly low, maybe 20 is good and start painting at the edges. Let's bring back the hair. Let's bring this back. There you go. Now, press Ctrl T. You might want to warp it. Select this one, press Ctrl T. Right click on it and go to warp. Now, let's adjust it just a little bit. There you go. This lines up. Watch how this lines up. Good. Hit enter. And now let's rub in the extra areas. Make sure black is the foreground color. 
press X to toggle between the foreground and the background color. And as you can see by mistake, my foreground color has become gray, not white. So you can press D to make them return to default, black and white. So press black, press X, and then paint in the areas. There you go. Oh, oops, I'm painting on the layer. Don't paint on the layer. Make sure you select the mask and then paint in. Okay, erase it. There you go. Make the edges a little smoother. There you go. Now let's look at the before and after. So this is the before, this is the after. The eyes made a little bit bigger. So let's look at both of the before and after. Let's make a group before, after. So enhances the expression, grabs the attention, and if you wanna make it a Barbie doll, make the eye size even more bigger. Hope this video helped, and if it did, make sure to give us a like, and also don't forget to subscribe, and not just subscribe, click on that bell button so that you don't miss any future tutorials. I'll see you guys in my next one. Till then, stay tuned, and make sure that you keep creating.